Welcome to our learn section. So today we're going to look at the step up and we're really going to unpack it looking at what constitutes good performance, some of the things you want to try and avoid doing, and then we're going to reinforce that and drill a little bit of the movement so you get a chance to practice with me. So let's look at the first and most important part of the step up. The way we teach the step up is a rhythm of right foot up, right foot down, left foot up, left foot down. So you can see the changeover happens at the bottom rather than on the box itself. So to reiterate, right foot on top of the box is joined by the left foot. Make sure you have a strong, stable position here. Come down with the right foot first, follow down with the left foot. On the other side, left foot, join up with the right foot, come down with the left foot, finally re-establish the position on the floor with your right foot. The key points of the step up itself from the feet up, when you place your foot on the box, we're going to talk about a strong and stable foot position. So what we mean by that is you want to have the foot connecting, the bottom of the foot connecting to the box and not feel that you're on the side rolling in or out. We'll go over a little bit more about what not to do in the next little section. But for now, with that strong and stable foot position, then comes a concept called the knee tracking. So the knee wants to go directly down the middle of the foot. And a good way of problem solving this for yourself at home is when you've put the foot up, before you're going to step up, just take a look at the top of your knee down and you shouldn't be able to see your feet. Really, really simple but accurate way of gauging that. If you can see your feet, you know that it's not quite in the right position. So then as we go up the chain, we're now going to talk about level hips. And what we mean by that is when you perform the lifting stage of this movement, I'm driving up onto the top of the box, we don't want to see the hip shooting off to the side. So the level hips is the next cue. From here, we're also going to talk about overall posture. And for that, we're going to talk about your chest and head up, but your ribs down. There, we've got tension now being built through the whole of our body from that foot position, going through our calves, into our quads, hamstrings, our abs, and even if you can, create a little bit of tension in your shoulders and arms. And then finally, the last key thing for a good step up is the breath. And this really applies to any exercise. You don't want to hold your breath, and neither do you want to get too much into this cadence of <sighs> try and have everything set up. So, And you can play around with whether you breathe in on the step up or breathe in on the step down, as long as you have a consistent strategy that works for you. So let's recap all of those things and then we'll look a little bit at what not to do. Strong and stable foot base, I'm going to look down, can't see my feet, knee tracking, straight down the middle of the foot. From there, squeezing my butt and abs, keeping my hips level. I'm going to step up, good posture, chest and head up, but my ribs are down. I'm going to step back down with the leg that I first stepped up with and join with the other foot down on the floor. So now let's look at some of the things which constitute relatively poor performance of that same movement. From a foot base perspective, if you're sliding onto one side or the other, you can see the effect that has on my knee. It slides it inside or outside the foot point and when I look down I can see my feet. That's a really good sign that you're not stacked in an efficient way, what we call a position of best strength. So poor foot positioning leads then to poor knee tracking. At that point you're also liable to kink your hips out. 
And that's what we mean by not level hips. From there, from a postural perspective, we talked about chest and head up, but ribs down. If you don't do that, what then tends to happen is you arch through your mid back and you can now see I'm creating a very tough position to retain throughout the rest of the movement. And in that position, I'm now under a lot of tension, but not where I need it to be. You're gonna to start to feel shoulders drifting up into the ears. You're gonna to start to lose the position of your hips even more. And it's gonna be very hard to keep up with the tempo that we're gonna set. So, let's now re-establish in your mind all of the good things, and then we'll do two minutes of good technique. We're not looking to do conditioning here, just reinforce the pattern and the movement qualities. Strong foot base, knee, right down the middle of the foot, ab and butt tension, good posture with chest and head up, but ribs down. <sighs> Breathe, left foot up, right foot up. Left foot down, right foot down. Right foot up, left foot up, right foot down, left foot down. Left foot up, right foot up, left foot down, right foot down. Right foot up, left foot up, right foot down, left foot down. And as I do a few reps here, you can see everything is in balance. I have time at the top and at the bottom of the movement, and I'm not falling trying to catch my balance. A really good sign of a movement that's doing, been done well is it looks balanced, it looks even, and every repetition sort of looks the same. Now, Keep thinking about the sequencing. Same foot that goes up. The first foot to come down and repeat. Thinking about creating good tension, squeezing butt, legs and abs. Really thinking about that breath. Try and have it deep in through the nose. And initially, we'll talk about this in the videos as well, breathing in and out through the nose until you have to change a little bit. Thanks very much for joining us for Step Ups. We'll see you for the next learn video.